Good morning. Thank you for joining us and happy Mother's Day to one and all. This morning, we're returning to a topic, a public policy area we like to touch on frequently here in this segment, and that is crime and public safety. And our guest is an expert on both subjects. He's the longtime sheriff of Bristol County, Sheriff Tom Hodgson. Good to see you, Sheriff. Great to be here. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. I realized it had been a while since we talked when I bumped into you at the Republican convention back in March, and you were telling me that you'd been getting, taking some heat from some some quarters over your willingness to publicly discuss details of the incarceration in your jail of Aaron Hernandez, the former Patriot star who's awaiting trial on murder and weapons charges. Why have you been so outspoken about his stay there and, and uh, his, his experience there? Well, I, I think it best be summed up by a question asked of me early on by an ESPN reporter who said, would you rather have Whitey Bulger? Would you rather have uh, Aaron Hernandez in your facility? I said, Aaron Hernandez all day long. He said, why is that? I said, because kids don't relate to Whitey Bulger, but they relate to Aaron Hernandez. They've looked up to this guy. They've revered him. He's uh, gone into the stadium being cheered by thousands, beautiful home, big home, nice cars. Kids were looking at that, and then suddenly, in the flash of a, a second almost, he's, he's coming into our facility with a different uniform, longer number, and, and a 70-square-foot cell. And the message to kids is, hey, listen, you know, even if you're not convicted, you could be in the wrong place with the wrong people, and ultimately, in the end, you could end up in this situation with everything you had now gone. Well, as we're taping this interview on Friday, uh, there's a court hearing going on in a case involving Hernandez allegedly assaulting another inmate that resulted in Hernandez being moved to a more restricted part of the jail. Uh, I know it's an ongoing case, so you're limited, but what can you tell us about what happened there and how he's doing in, in jail? Well, he actually um, is alleged to have, have assaulted an inmate who was uh, being transferred within the unit. and. Um, and, uh, of course, he was out on his, his rec time at the time. So um, we obviously felt that based on the circumstances, he, we were going to file for criminal complaint, and that's, that's brought us to where we are. We don't tolerate inside of a prison anybody uh, committing any kinds of crimes or assaults or what have you. And if you're alleged to have done that, we're going to pursue it through the full extent of the law. Sheriff, has it, have we ever determined conclusively or to your satisfaction what, if any, gang connections Hernandez has? Um, we don't, we, we've looked uh, into this. Um, we don't have any, uh, in fact, I've spoken to him myself about this in early on when he came in. Uh, we don't have any clear indications that he's part of any particular gang uh, at this point. And um, so we just sort of err on the side of caution always when when there may be some suggestions or what have you to to be sure we're, we're watching to make sure there's no indications going forward. Just to close out this topic before we move into some others, do you feel that you've been able to, uh, maybe this is the wrong word, but capitalize on this case to get that message out to young people? Do you think that, I mean, in, does that work? Uh, does holding up an example like that work with kids who are in situations that are, you know, susceptible to criminal activity? can't it can't help but uh, it can't hurt but uh, certainly would help because in this case you know you're talking about kids being able to see what it's like in a jail cell where somebody who they revered who was so popular is now in a very different place can't go from room to room turn on a big screen TV grab a snack those are things that kids pay attention to and more importantly they don't have freedom the freedom that they have on the outside which is critically important for kids today and it's not every day a county sheriff's interviewed on ESPN so it's an unusual forum I guess yeah and yeah. it's uh, it's just one of those uh, high, highly notable cases and, yeah. and people are interested in it all right sheriff take a deep breath we'll continue our conversation in a moment with the sheriff of Bristol County Tom Hodgson please stay with us